Here comes the Yeti. I hope he's not running Shamrock here, because if he's not, the Yeti just wins next turn. I don't care if three nuts. It doesn't even matter. He can play Soul Patch. Yeti just wins. Just on the spot. These all live too, so this flame phase becomes absolutely crazy. Guys, look at this play! Look at this play! What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I want to try a little bit of a different take on Huge Giganticus Pirates. Uh, usually we go Headstone, Carver, Pirates, and then just Pogo, Yeti, Mug. I want to try a little bit of a different mix, and the card I really wanted uh, to highlight today is Shield Crusher Viking. Uh, I think this card just has so much potential. If this hits face, it gets so much value. Uh, in a Pirate deck, it can very often have Strike Through. Uh, Captain Flameface will give it that. You just kind of need a way to get it in without it getting removed, and Teleportation Zombie is that way. Uh, it also it just is gets strike through if it's either in the Laser Base Alpha, uh, or teleported into a dry lane. That's actually the best way to do it. Or uh, if it's inside the Ice Moon. So it just seems like it should be very easy to get you know, value from this, especially clearing the opponent's block meter in a deck that does so much damage like Pirates does. Uh, I think this could be a really, really good idea. So again, we're starting off, first things first, bottom line, this is a Gravestone deck with Headstone Carver, which is a very strong strategy. This, you play on turn one, very hard to remove. Every Pirate you play, every Gravestone you play, gets plus one, plus one. So we're running a mix of Pirates. I will, at the last minute, I put in a couple Ice Pirates. Don't want too many of these, but uh, if these are played in an environment, it does give you an extra freeze, which not only gives you very good value, it also has pretty high attacks. So if you turn it into Strike Through with the Captain Flame Phase, yeah. that'll be good. It also does have the synergy with the Cryo Yeti, so, and we're doing some things with that. Uh, we are calling this Cryo Pirates after all. Uh, so instead of four monkeys, running two. But again, very good card, especially since you have one drops that proc the opponent's block. I think even just buried treasure on one, if this hits phase, then it activates the monkey pirate. Uh, it also really activates the swashbuckler. If they don't answer your buried treasure, so one of these are going to grow to a 3-3, even if they make a good trade against the swashbuckler, this will still get value from having turned this pirate card. Uh, into a 1 cost 3 3, which is really good. The teleportation zombie itself becomes a 2 6 if you have headstone carver on the field. Uh, so and the, the teleportation zombie is important for really two cards in this deck. Uh, the first one is going to be the instead. We're going to really try, and that's one of the reasons I'm running buried treasure, um, is you really need a cheap pirate to put this on top of. You can definitely put it on top of a monkey pirate or a nice pirate, uh, sometimes even on top of the um, flame face. The really important thing again is to not be playing this draw. You can play this into the water if you have a pirate field set up, which is very good. Uh, it's just an extra pirate, a nice throw on the field. Uh, it also... I kind of look like this guy right now with my beard. Uh, <laughs> um, it also... Again, you can play this and get a lot of value if you're teleporting this in, because then all the minions' plants they've played on turn 4 or 5 or whatever turn you're playing this uh, will get frozen. You're going to make free trades against them, especially if all your cards are strike through. Uh, you're going to be making free trades and doing a lot of damage. Um, so the finishers are going to be the Crow Yeti. Again, we have the Teleportation Zombies and the Teleports that you get from Teleportation Station. Not going to run regular Teleports because there's just not enough minions. The only two minions you really teleport in are these two. On turn 5, you do this combo with Teleportation Zombie. You play this and then you play this on top of it to freeze everything. Um, if you can pull off this combo while you have a Cryo Yeti on the field, and then the Yeti grows insanely, and if it has Strike Through... Uh, or if it's in an open lane, then you just win the game because this thing will just do 11 and 13 attack, whatever it is. Um, so I'm really excited about getting the shield crushers and the freeze combos off. There's a little bit of different takes on pirates. That's enough explaining. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the game. I think Swashbuckler, again, really important to be able to maintain that uh, tempo. It really grows your pirates. You're going to get a lot of value out of the Swashbuckler in this deck. Got bonus attacks for a finisher. <laughs> I look like a priest, man. It's just because I'm wearing black. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, it's it, it, hard to find a better hand than this. The, the, the thing is, we're running a lot of two drops already. We have the eight two drop pirates besides for the teleportation zombie. I feel like the teleportation zombie, you're going to be playing more, you know, turns like four, five, or six to sort of set up your late game combo. So I, I'm just going to keep this hand. Uh, and Captain Combustible, no grave removal. Not exactly a removal hero in general. I like playing this here. We really want the swashbuckler to hit face. We don't want him to California roll. Hit, hit, block the swash. That's okay. He has a black IP here. We are going to get behind. That's the way it goes. 
Man, he had Meteor. That hurts. Meteor and Bong Choy. It just really slows the stack down. Uh, so we can either play into Black Eyed Pea by doing this or play around it. We do have two, three, four. It could be it's okay. This is probably better. The chances of him being able to answer the swashbuckler are really high. I mean, which Captain Combustible deck doesn't run four copies of Black Eyed Pea? If he plays Split Pea in front of it because he's paranoid about the swashbuckler, we actually win that trade with Teleportation. So this would have answered it too. I'm happy we didn't play the swashing. Uh, bets. Sorry. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2, vote yes. If you think it'll go 7 and 3, vote no. Le voting starts right now. Starts right now. Live votes over here. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. You, you know how. You know how this goes. So we are going to play this dry, right? One swatch to the left, one to the right. Doesn't really matter. The one that's gonna get hit is this. So I guess we want it like this. <laughs> yeah, good thing for the opponent they have that meteor. We actually win this trade. That's fine. Spends a berry box. We didn't need that. This party time, I don't know. It gets a little scary if he starts playing repeat boss and B-Rex and stuff like that. This double swashbuckler play is so freaking strong now, though. Ah, uh, we have the monkey pirate boot. I'm gonna play the double, just because we're getting so much value. Every pirate now grows by 2-2 if it hits face. He's probably just gonna play a banana Rex. So he'll probably make a good trade against one of these, but the other one's gonna grow to a 4-4. Four, four. Wow! Roll it, then. So these swashbucklers now are gonna grow to 4-4s four, four a piece. Got it. And then this will... Yeah, this not even a problem. Uh, he does draw an extra card here, though. Actually, hit phase too. Proc the block. Uh, it's pretty bad that that, hit, that that proc the block because the monkey doesn't really get the value anymore. Man, he draws a card. Ugh, it sucks. It's probably just gonna be two and three. It's okay. There's that. Bear a blast. Nothing we can. Still kind of a two for one. Really a two for two if you can't the card. This is a really strong laser to be able to kill this huge threat on the field. This thing is going to be a seven five. It will not draw the card. Thank you, Monkus. This goes up to five five. We've got some strike through and all kinds of stuff going on now. Um, I'm going to say yes for teleport. Why not grab the free card? Cryo Yeti is so strong here. So it's definitely Cryo Yeti in the strike through environment, and then we can get an extra freeze. I mean, this thing already is going to have seven attack. Uh, it's going to be really difficult for him to survive now. It just enables the free trade here, which is crazy, man. That is A.O. Gucci. Um, so we're definitely freezing that. Well, uh, maybe I should have thought about it. So this does five. Getting this up to seven. I mean, we could win. We could win by just strike through in here anyway. You can see that. We didn't like the odds. So far, so good. We didn't really get our uh, instead or our Yeti or our Shield Crusher, but we didn't really need it. I like how this deck focuses on these weird combos. I'm really curious to see if these work, you know what I mean? Teleportation zombie with instead and shield crusher particularly. <laughs> Do what happens here. So that's really good. Uh, we'll probably just mulligan for a two. Because we can afford to. Uh, we can't get rid of headstone or flame face. Ooh. So we can actually play both of these. I, I really hope he doesn't have a... Um, Really hope he doesn't forget me nuts. That would have hurt. Oh boy. Just getting a, a, on turn two, we're going to be getting a 3 5 strike through. Ridiculous. I think I'm going to grab the card out of this buried treasure here. Zero cost buried treasure is cool with a, a instead, but unless I top deck it here. Uh, 
That's also cool. Do we go for the swashbuckler before the flame face? This is Zombot. The Swash kind of gets more value. Uh, I think that's okay. Hello. Is this a cheater? Someone in the chat said, bro, it's a sniper. Is this like legit a cheater? Cheater? Earl's a cheater. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, so Headstone Carver goes down here, and there's no point in using the bonus yet. This is fine. Definitely take the teleport. Splash! Splash, splash. Did he use a superpower yet? Uh, he did not. Time to shine. Ultimate protect and the uh, hole of floor. Just this in the water? Do we go after a trade? If we just try to make this trade, the rumble becomes very sad. If he doesn't have Rumble, we're okay. He didn't use Holo Florian. Right? He really could, could could end up getting in this turn, though. Covers that. <laughs> actually makes the, the his ultimate ability less good now because he's killing this flame face anyway. I think let's just keep on gaining tempo. We'll set up the environments and get some real damage in next turn. Hope he doesn't have a blockbuster here. Gosh. That sucks! <laughs> okay, we're still okay because that really did take up this all 4 drop. Uh, that was a 3 1. Anyway. Pretty deep, big sacrifice there, but he actually clears me now. I really need that Cryoni to live. Blockbuster is such a good card. We need a minion. So, I guess that's the play. Could have actually teleported this in. I think I should have. Ugh. So much damage. I just don't know how we survive. We gotta roll three. We rolled a one, so there's basically no chance of surviving anymore. It's gotta be like this, teleport and get another minion in order to just counter him. Thank you, President Jorts. It's me, Big Chungus, fear me. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess. He started with the time to shine. There's no way to win that. Bloodbuster too strong. Also just double click be too strong. There's goddess, man. Thank you, President George, for three months. <laughs> it's another snipe. It's the same guy, man. I'm not playing as this guy. La di da di da di da 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 da. It's a different grass knuckles. Everything's gonna be fine now. <laughs> so 
This is pretty cool. Do I mulligan this away? I don't think so. We'll probably... Okay. I like teleporting this guy in on three. Let's see what else we get here. Oh boy. This is such a pain in the butt for Grass Knuckles. A 2-6? Like, this is gonna... This is a nightmare. He has no way of dealing with this. Punta. Punta. Uh, yeah, I guess it's like this. Want this one to hit face? This one the prop would block. It's three strike through. It's pretty hefty. That's that's a cool, but it's just a lot of resources into him not really gaining really much momentum. These are he actually wins this trade now, but kind of barely. Are we just insteading here. Uh, it's got to be swashbuckler bonus attack. Oh my gosh, that's so strong. <laughs> it's so strong. Okay. So I guess we bonus the... What is he doing? Okay, so this dies no matter what. So we'll just bonus this one. It's so much... It's so much memento. We'll just Yeti next turn. We'll be fine. Yeti's a 6-7 because of the headstone cover. It's just still getting value. There might be a chance of getting this really wacky instead here. Again, really don't want to see Blockbuster, especially in a Bullseye Grass Knuckles deck. He probably is. We're probably getting Blockbuster here. Okay. Arr. Arr. Lame. R slash lame. Uh, I'd love to see a teleport. So we have to top deck teleportation zombie. We can pull this this crazy play off. Really, even just a, a buried treasure would be really cool. I guess the play is just bonus, right? Just bonus, bonus. Until he shuts the fuck up. <laughs> This going on YouTube, so decks that either do well or do terrible but are really fun go on YouTube, so most do. Yesterday's did it. Gotta redo that deck. Oh, he growing. He he growing. He don't. He don't. Goodbye. Goodbye. No one likes you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Guaranteed! Still not much happening with the... with the thing. Uh, yeah, really haven't gotten the instead or shield crusher plays. <laughs> What we're looking for. That's what we've come here today to do, and instead, pirates are just dominating. Come on, man. Come on, partner. <laughs> Always get rid of bonuses early. Okay, now we're talking. Now, smell the rock is cooking. Do I look for like a, a one or a I'd probably look for a one or a three instead of this. Okay, this is awkward. Maybe I'll just start with my super. You gotta keep teleportation something. Oh my gosh, we start with super. Oh my god. So we're gonna <laughs> the, the, the play is one, two, three, four. We can play this dry or freeze. This it doesn't really matter. Probably teleporting this in is actually gonna be better. It'll turn into a five five. Heck yeah. No way of playing around tricks and no way of playing around gravestones. Chomsilla might be the best matchup for this deck. 
Give that man some answers. Oh, we. Uh, I think we go after that because ramping is scary. I guess this goes in the middle. Do we need two things to be to the left of it? Oh, no. If he has a, a like a something to answer the swash, it means this dies for free. So. Okay. Two gravestones on turn two is so scary. It's so terrifying. I mean, he knows this one's not a swashbuckler, but he doesn't know anything about this one. That is what I'm talking about. Do da do da. This is what I'm talking about. Do do. Dooters. Nooners. Shut up and take my money. Is this enough to play you at the end? <laughs> Hi, Onion Lick Lover. I don't really um. <laughs> I haven't been doing friendlies at the end of the streams. Maybe I should bring that back then. I just stopped. The, there was a time the friend list wasn't working at all, and it was just impossible. It's kind of like that still, but maybe I should try again. It's probably better now. I think teleporting this in is the player. Problem is, what if he just chomps or hammers this? It's going to be a sad day for... Several juice, but it means this is free. So. Pirate deck's too strong, in it, right? Actually, no, I should have played Flame Face so I can set up the Viking. Duh! I screwed it up. Why am I so dumb? Of course it was Flame Face. It does grow in this lane. It's a slightly weaker play than playing a 4-4, four -four, but it sets up the Vikings. We have to go after the objective of the deck, not what's actually the good play. I guess I can feel okay that I'm actually making the more competitive play here instead of the one that would be throwing for content, essentially. <laughs> Sorry for not throwing for content, guys. Alright, well, me quit. Gravestone environment instead of strike through environment? You think gravestone environment makes Vikings stronger than the strike through? I don't I don't think that's how it works, but maybe we start running smoke bombs, it just starts becoming a, a different and frankly weaker deck. I think this is good enough. <laughs> Just gonna keep it. Ice Liwa? Oh. It's guaranteed lethal. Anyway. Thank you to Ice Liwa. It's a French girl. Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, yeah, so this is a really fair and balanced play here, guys. Check it out. 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 It's turn two. We're going to get two three fours on the field. Have a nice day. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> no, this is not. This is completely but not fair. We All right. This is better than double click B. This is way better than double click B. Check it out! Check it out! I don't think we leap these. So we can either just play this card. It's probably just two. Get the value and then one one cost bonus. Just kill something for free. Okay, that's nice. Have a nice day. Have a very nice day. Should I start leaping these for some reason? I don't think I will. I think we just wait for him to go after one of these and play laser next turn. We'll be right. If we top deck instead, I'll just play dry in the water. How are we rolling so many ones? This game is not fair. This game is not fair. Okay, well here's a one drop. Exactly what we needed. We need a leap. We need a leap. 
Thank you to Ice Liwa for subbing. Heck yeah. Oh, Laz just gifted one. Heck yeah. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Uh, I guess the difference between two and three. The problem is you can rumble this one and we don't get value then. So probably we should just be as aggressive as possible, right? Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, this is actually a big threat. If he plays Holo Floor, it actually lives, so... Nice to take this guy out. He is protected, the one that doesn't die. Congratulations. What is the man even thinking? He's like, he dies next turn, so might as well protect this one. But we have a guy in a laser base alpha that kills you. I don't think that was a good play. I'm no doctor. I don't think it was a good play. This just trades the 3-1. There's nothing to leap. If he plays Spikeweed Sector or something, I guess we could... Too bad we didn't get any leaps that game. We just... It wasn't even Pirates. We didn't get any Pirate Synergy. It was just Headstone Carver. Headstone Carver best. <clears throat> Heck yeah. You guys like the beard? I look like Unthawed Viking. I don't know, I kinda like this look. Guys, rate my rate my beard on a scale 1 to 10. 10 means it's not only good, but I need to keep growing it longer. 1 means I need to shave completely. 5 would mean it's average. And 7 to 8 means it's perfect. Keep it the way it is. And don't let it grow any longer. <laughs> We're doing a poll. All right, let's try it. We got it's the strike through. Oh my gosh, we got a curve too. Let's go. The one, the one cost, the HG being insane as per usual. That's that's pretty strong. It's okay. We got eight, ten. What it needs to be longer? Fifteen. You guys got the got the beard. You guys got the beard. The beard kink. Is that a thing? It's probably a thing. Everything is a thing, guys. I look depressed with this beard. Does this look like a beard that I just let grow and I don't give a damn? No, this is a very, very, very well-kept beard. It's kept. And kept. Kept. Notice me, senpai? Hello. Okay. Well, we got strike through going on. We play around hammer. I think we do, because really, if he Shamrock is this, we're back to square one. Yeah, well, you yeah, know, we just play it. There's no point in playing and shit. What are we gonna play? Quokadile? Makes a worse trade against the Unthawed than against the other one. There's the Shamrock, but it just means these are gonna be better later. It's kind of sad we don't have multiple plays to make here. Now, this Viking really does get a lot of value as long as he doesn't hammer this. Do we have to cryo first? I just feel like the Viking doesn't get the value. It's a little hard to pull this off against Wall Knight. What if he uses Ice Boar? There's so many things that kill this, and Hammer. And Chomper is the one I wasn't going to say. God damn it. So, it just ruined, like, he, so you're relying on teleportation, Zombie. I don't know, man. I'd love to make a good Unthawed deck. Maybe I just play this now. I don't know. It, it, you know, needs another sham rocket or a cob cannon combo. This will at least, you know, even if he blocks us with a briar rose or something, it still hits face and just makes him lose on the spot here. Well, I look like a Greek philosopher with this beard. I'll take it. Would you rather have Trickster or Repeat Moss? They're such different cards. Tricks is the card you have in your hand from turn one and you're charging up in a control deck. Repeat Moss is really kind of a one one shot wonder with Captain Combustible and is a finisher. They're such different cards, man. That's my answer to you. Okay. 
Just an Amazon delivery. Can you leave me alone, please? Listen, bonus, I guess. Did he just shamrocket it? This is the problem. Unthought Viking is such a difficult card to use. Come on, man. I'll save the bonus. It'll be better next turn. Oh, we. They're trying to reach me about my extended warranty, apparently. No, that's, it's not even a working phone. It only works when someone buzzes my building. Whatever. Time to get frozen. Puppies. This man's got some puppies. What a bitch. Come on, man. <laughs> I need the damage, though. Oh. Hey, it's nice it goes up to six. Ah, uh, pass. Did he use Doom Shroom, really? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. So he's running Doom Shroom and Shamrock. Okay, great. Viking could be one of those cards that is actually really useful and really does do enough to impact the game if it weren't for cards like Doom Shroom and Shamrock, for real. If that was expensive to take out, people would then run fewer of them because it would be a lot li of liability. I'm telling you, man. Uh, we actually have double bonus for the win in like, this lane here. It's 18 damage. Crazy. Chicken schnitzel versus veal schnitzel? I don't think I've ever had veal schnitzel. Could you not? Oh. What a thought. Actual thoughtiness. Uh, so we only get 16 damage in here. It's got to be worth it, though, right? It just means t this two damage wins. Can't get better than that. Man, give that man a blockbuster, man. Blockbuster. Is it funny now? Is there any soul patch? Gosh, this guy is such a biatch. I can't tell you, man. He's so annoying. How am I gonna win now? <laughs> I've been Doom Shroomed, Astro Vera'd, Walnut Bowling'd, I don't even know what to do. It's still doable, but we're gonna have to get some top decks now. A laser would be great. A bonus would be great. Alright, winnable. He's just gonna Doom Shroom me again. Bye, guys. How many Shamra? I can't, bro. It's such a stupid card. It's just a stupid card. It's not broken. It's not unfair. It's just boring. Why would you put silver bullets in a card game? It ruins... Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Hell yeah, brother. Heck yeah. He's gonna block the seven anyway, but I'm still happy. This is such a huge... It grows. Oh no! He already used his super too. I sounded like a... Like a seagull there or something. Oh no! That's right! Bitch, move out the way! He's gonna move it to a lane where it doesn't unfreeze. Nice play, bro. He's like, I don't want it to die. Yeah, it's just frozen. You forgot. It doesn't unfreeze at the end of your turn. That's not how it works. It has to attack, bro. That was a really nice try. Does this do anything? Is the real question. Uh, I think we'll play it, though. No more sham rockets. No, 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 no. God damn it! <laughs> He's 
so annoying. <laughs> Why? Leave me alone. Wall Knight is so freaking annoying. <laughs> okay, Ambrose. Okay, here we go. Here, now we're here we go. It's like guaranteed lethal for him. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. You're so stupid. It's guaranteed. Haha, <laughs> funny. So freaking annoying. Alright, four and two. Three nut with cosmic man. I find that putting one health guys have three attack is not good with cosmic. You gotta have like five, six attack. Health, I mean. Like garlic walnuts. I've just tried it with like little buddies, and it's just they it always felt like the little buddies being a three one and didn't matter. They're too easy to remove. And it was too like high risk, high reward, low reward with the three nut. Three nut can be really bad sometimes. You've gotta get like like a huge board before it dies. It only has two health, you know? That's just my experience. Not a whole lot of two threes in the arsenal of um, nightcap, so let's just go for this instead of the teleportation. I should cosplay as Flame Face because of the beard. <gasps> should cosplay as instead. I'll paint it white. I don't say things in other languages, sorry. Then it's usually just cursing out Ukraine or something. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of nuts right now, actually. What a crazy ass play right now. Even if he berry blasts us, we get two three threes in the field. I'm like totally okay with that. The thing we didn't play around there was Plano. Oh my gosh, this guy's so annoying. And it, we're having a rough day today in terms of the guys just having everything they need. I mean, we've also gotten our super a lot, so. Probably shouldn't complain, but still, I would love to see a two drop here, just so we can develop this card. Oh boy, Do we have Viking now. I think we have Viking now. I'm almost certain we have Viking. One and four. No, we don't. We have instead though. I mean, we have just dry Viking, but it's not worth it. We're gonna give him one of these. We'll play instead somewhere. It actually freezes us, which is cool. And we'll play this environment and get the teleport, so the Viking should be able to do Viking things. They're so annoying, bro. Okay, because this doesn't hit face, I think we just take the free trade. We also don't want to proc his block the turn before the Viking. Oh no, wait, but we can't play the environment now. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm not playing well. God damn it. Uh, guys, uh, I'm going to invoke tolerance, and uh, if anyone makes a personal attack on someone just because they are of Russian descent, you're gonna get permanently banned. Sorry, Victor. Calling you out. That is literal, literal. Literal something. I don't know what it literal it is, but it's something. Right, you listen, listen to metal? No, it's like one of the genres of music I, I don't like. Just period. Puta. Here is the shield crusher. This is what we wanted. But if you had a balance or anything, man, this still wouldn't have worked. It's so high maintenance is the problem, but it's game winning. I mean, he's not going to block. Punta!
There's the planet. Here he goes. Here goes the guy. He just doesn't have boardroom in order to do enough damage here, so. Really doesn't have sun either, usually. Can he, like, banana bomb this and win here? Not anymore. It's guaranteed for us. After how the last game went, I thought for sure we'd be playing Vox slash Tricks to Hybrid again <laughs> like the last time you got too many game shrooms. <laughs> we win. Nah, this is going well. We're doing all right. That that wall knight was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Be yourself. Oh man. What's the most annoying heroes? I don't know. Probably wall knight and huge Giganticus, Not gonna lie. Teleport better than teleportation zombie. I was thinking because of the. Headstone Carver synergy, but maybe not. It just makes these plays, they're less reliable. You're right. Maybe I do need teleports. I don't know, man. It's hard to assess. Not gonna lie. Uh, Alright, look for a guy. Did not get it. We playing slow. Uh, welcome to the home Zizzo. La 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 oh, 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 oh. We'll go for the trade. Um depending on what he plays here. I might use this early. Oh, I so know. Uh, I'll probably actually go flame face now just to kill that forget me nuts. Terrible trade, man. Bruh. What was he playing around there? Definitely not Flame Face. We just made two insanely good trades now. Heck yeah. This Walnut just ain't doing it. Just ain't doing it. Probably just double. Uh, I guess this one goes here too. So it's right. Might as well take it. Viking. Every Viking is a pirate. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Apparently, it was a huge controversy back in the day. I heard a rumor that um, actually they put that in the notes. They had a very big debate. At, oh my gosh, that one dies, so nothing grows now. Rolling California rolling for the for the I mean I don't know man this is gonna be a little bit difficult now. Okay, so we probably go for the well we go for the trade. It's all bullseye. Guess we'll take the trade now. It actually we played into Blockbuster here. I'd rather him cover this one. Ah uh, please. Please no more wall night things. I've had enough. That is huge. Doesn't really matter which one, right? The point is, the man is annoying. I am if, if I'm gonna weigh in. I don't think Vikings are pirates. Sorry, Pop Cap. <laughs> I don't get the part. So it's three. I mean, this actually exploits this Pecanolith so hard. This is like gonna be a six health monster. And the Pecanolith doesn't die. I think I'm gonna benefit more from this. Could you not? I, I can't. I can't, man. Removal is too cheap in this game. It's so annoying. I don't know why it's all happening today, too. How we're just getting shamrocketed, ice board. It doesn't matter, man. It's too cheap. It's just boring. <laughs> I would have loved to get 12 damage in here. We basically would have won the game, but forget me nots prevented that dream. It's too cheap. 
Idiot. Get frozen. Uh, yeah, I guess we play there. <laughs> Six bullseye feels pretty good. Thanks, Picanola. We've only <laughs> done more than him from the Picanola so far. Yeah, I'm not even killing a Picanola. It's definitely bad. I have a four four damage strike through in this lane. Six bullseye strike through here. <laughs> Heck yeah. Vikings pillaged, but a pirate means you take over boats. Vikings were not attacking boats, they were attacking land. That's just literally not what a pirate is. That's a pillager. It's not the same thing, guys. Okay. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> So annoying. I wonder if I even try. Man. See this move this dies actually. But if I do this, we kill the Bicandle at this turn. Which is probably a good thing. Let's just clear his you know what this this essentially clears his field. Yeah, that's worth it. It doesn't do any face damage, but we don't need it. We have we have board advantage. I don't know, man. He gets one big card though, and we don't. We're gonna be screwed. Maybe that wasn't smart. Maybe we needed that Picano to stay on the board for us to be able to finish this stupid wall knight. It's goddamn wall knight. Viking is biking. Pirates, Caribbean, Viking, Norway. So that's an interesting way of explaining it. Uh, okay. We definitely want a legendary rather than a, a one drop that dies on the spot. Alright. The difference between us and this guy is we have cards and he don't. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we just got guaranteed lethal. Thanks for liking and sub 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 subscribing. Sub subscribing. Hey, we got another one. I please sub 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 It's Danko. This is the same guy we just fought. Come on, super. <laughs> Called wishful thinking. Called wish.com thinking. See if he's got that juggernaut. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go for that. I'll go for that, son. Come on, Spikeweed. Subscribe. You play any PC games? Uh, I play occasionally Fortnite and Overwatch. I tried this new Amazon game, Lost Ark. It just feels so generic. Generic like uh, Diablo type game, dungeon crawling. Guys, can you please sub subscribe? For the love of God. <laughs> My gosh. My goodness. This man and his answers, man. This man and his answers. Got me good there. Probably have to bonus, so I'm gonna give him one of these. Bonus. VR games. I don't own a VR. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not like a big console guy. I don't know. 
Can you please not play photosynthesizer? Have a nice day. Okay, now, please don't California roll and we basically win. God damn it! Stop biting my finger, Charlie. He did Cali roll there, right? One, three, yep. The Cali rolls is real. I don't know what I gotta do to get a fair match around here, but this is some bullshit. Bolshevik. <laughs> Bro, that's offensive. You said a word in Russian. Shut up. Shut up. No one cares. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, we're gonna go for the big, big fat instead play. I, I'm actually one off of being able to bonus, though. Feels kind of bad, man. Oh no, he can't. We hit his face. And Mother Russia, President attacks you. <laughs> President assassinates you. That's so terrible, Brian. Uh, I guess I'm not a good person. What can I even say? <laughs> Teleport instead, bonus attack next turn. I feel like we're gonna end up using the bonus here. How about I just teleport instead and call it a day? Just call it a day. I guess that is the difference the United States and Russia, then. The United States, people assassinate president. And Russia, a president assassinates you. Very sad observation, indeed. Alright, guys. We're gonna have to sub up sub up subscribe here. That's what we're gonna have to do. This is how you really saw this subscribe. Just like that. Give him one of Here comes the Yeti! I hope he's not running Shamrocket, because if he's not, the Yeti just wins next turn. I don't care, three nut, it doesn't even matter. He can play Soul Patch. Yeti just wins. Just on the spot. These all live too, so this flame phase becomes absolutely crazy. Guys, look at this play! <laughs> look at this play! <laughs> Alright, this whole deck was worth it just for that. Come on, guys. This is game nine, turn... Turn six. Please put March... First, damn, it's March already. God damn. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely you. It's time to do some bonus bonus attacks. Heck yeah. God damn it. This is so stupid. Whatever. What a dumb card, man. What a dumb card. It looks like we're not going to be able to sub this subscribe. That's the only problem, though. Whatever, man. Get your monkey. Get your monkey ass out of here. They're still doing so much damage. Thank you, Flame Face. Oh. Uh, lethal. If we can get the Virginia roll. Come on, Karma. Come on. We don't even need it. We're gonna win next turn. Don't even worry. Star Lord's dead. We changed the clock in 12 days, dude. Does that happen in March? Piece of garbage, I don't know. Yeah. 
He just healed though. I don't know. Do we just burn teleports until we get something good? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I guess we can't even get Shield Crusher anymore then. Ice form or like pain in the ass. <laughs> it's not broken. I'm not saying ice bore is a broken is a too good. I'm just saying it's boring. It's so boring. It's why we can't use Viking in a deck. It's because of ice bore, sham rocket. Why add silver bullets? It just makes the game boring. It doesn't add this tactical thing. It's just a 50-50 coin flip of your deck either sucking or completely dominating. Honestly, I think Blockbuster's kind of broken too. I just don't think Gravestone should be as good. I think a mixed up Gravedigger just needs to like cost six and I don't even know what else. As a parent of small children, I find the loss of an hour easier than gaining one. So what? Oh, because if you gain an hour, then they wake up early. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Is this good thing? I can't sell if this is a good thing. Is this good thing? I think this is a good thing. This is such a good thing. <laughs> Oh boy, we're about to get buried. Mug lower stats, yeah, something, man. It's too strong. Hella strong. This is a really good play. He's not gonna be able to block this plus, usually. I'll definitely take this. This is a 3 3. I'll just keep this on the field. Okay. R. Pretty sure it's Flame Face in 1 now. Or do we just laser? I like playing face because it gets the value. Are, are we seven and two? Are we in a seven and two scenario? I think we are seven and two, right? Yeah, that was game nine. So we're actually making the comeback for the for the bets. We're in a, a seven and two situation, guys. <laughs> scenario. I sound like a a baseball fan from the 1950s. Yeah, well, it's a three and two. It's a three and one scenario. Bases are, there's a guy in first and the first and third, that's what they say. If there's a guy in first and third, it's the first and third scenario. Bunch of nerds. Don't roll three. I can't. This is not, it's just, I don't know what's going on. We should be 10 and 0 by now. This is BS. How am I supposed to, that, that's a whole deck is to be able to get some pirate And he's Kelly rolling me like I'm, come on, man. Come on. I can't, bros. I can't. I can't do it anymore. What am I supposed to? Okay, here we go. I'll give him one of these. I'll give him one of these. now. How does he have three on his block meter now? Oh, because he rolled another three. Okay. This man just rolls threes. It's just what he does. I play card game. This man, he rolls threes. He's a professional. It's a goddamn professional. Gosh. Oh my god. So he has a berry blast. It's nice information. Oh, that doesn't grow. So just get berry blasted, it's fine. I really don't even have a play here. Can I just have Cry Yeti or something? Alright, we take those. I don't really know what to do, actually do here. I guess the Berry Blast can... Uh, we'll probably just end up freezing this one. <sighs> Ow. Oh, 
Look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. <laughs> Just wasted it. And he thinks it's a pirate. Little does he know, it's not a pirate. The problem is the berry blast hits this next turn. So is there any, like, do I, it does four otherwise. Okay, I think I'm crazy. I think I've gone insane, but I'm taking the 8 damage. I think we have to just tank it. It means we kind of lose next turn, but I don't think we have any way of winning if this doesn't... If this dies to Berry Blast, we have no way of actually winning, so... That is kind of sweet, not gonna lie. We need a leap! We need a leap! He kind of just buys us a turn. Oh, mixed up grave digger. Okay. This gets out of out of everything range. Thank you, trusty waffle. Welcome to the primary. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's called the drop out of the ocean, boys. That is quite gooch. Give him one of these. Four and three is probably good here. I think we'll probably we'll do this because we're always freezing lane one. We're always freezing lane one. All right. We died a blockbuster either way. There's no point in playing around it. He doesn't have bonus attacks, luckily. This way, also, we don't die to just grave buster. Or we kind of do. Okay, so we're playing this one. Whoa, whoa. This is six. That didn't do anything. He just healed for six, though. I don't know what to do. In fact, this dies. Alright, we're screwed. Screwed McDuck. What, what would it take to win this game right now? I don't think there's any scenario where we win this. Teleport, Viking, and block this turn, I guess. And then bonus attack next turn. We... God damn it. <laughs> Has he had that parry blast the whole time? Like, I forgot he had that. It looks like we're going down here, guys. We just didn't have an end. I'm not running Pogo or anything. Not really running any answer to this if it's not on the grounds. Oh, great. Fan freaking tastic. Bonus attack his face. <laughs> All right, guys. Who does that go on YouTube or not? What a frustrating stream. I mean, the deck did well. We did have some fun moments. We did have a crazy cryo yeti moment. I'm going to say yes, that goes on YouTube. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Kind of anticlimactic. I mean, we really had a lot of bad... We had a lot of really good luck today, starting with our supers and these insane starts. And then just so... We got shamrocketed and ice board. Like, like my, my ass hurts. That's how much. Like, a lot. <laughs> the answer is no. I would have voted yes. Leap. The pirate that came we need Thank you, Fat Teddy. Celtic Bronco just gifted one. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, YouTube. Peace. This is for high. Come on, man.